Welcome everyone to another episode of Omni Santa's Inbox. I am your host, Omni Santa, and I'm here answering your emailed questions all about Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Let's get to the inbox. This first question comes from Cindy in Whoville, Arkansas. When should we start our actual Black Friday, Cyber Monday event sales? Great question. Year after year over year, these sales have been starting earlier and earlier. Last year really hit the tipping point. Most Black Friday week sales started either the Sunday or Monday before Black Friday, and that's what I would recommend again. If you wait and save your biggest promotion until Thanksgiving Day or even Black Friday, you are three to four days too late. So I would start either the Sunday or Monday of that week and make them run all week long. I would let customers know that these are your Black Friday deals so they can start shopping now. If you wait, other companies will start. Now, the second part of that is that sales will be starting much earlier than usual. Early October through the rest of October, you're going to see customers shopping. So while you don't need to give away the farm and have your deepest discounts during late October, even mid October, I would start discounting, playing around. Some things you might want to consider are maybe category specific sales, tier discounts that maybe get certain percentages off certain amounts. So different spend thresholds, increase the AOV, still give them something there or give them free gifts like a gift card to purchase again later in the season or after New Year's. So start your discounts in October really build up and expect by November 1st November 7th that first week there that you're going to be full steam running and then start your Black Friday week sales either the Sunday or Monday of Black Friday week there you go Cindy happy marketing this next question comes from Mark in South Carolina Mark thank you for your question which discount works best well this is a delicate answer because there is no right or wrong answer what I would suggest brands do is use varying discounts throughout the season, but think about ones that can protect your margins just a little bit more. So bundle products and give a deeper discount on that. Use tiered discounts, so the more they spend, the more they save, but increases average order value. Maybe offer certain perks for certain, hitting some of those thresholds. So expedited shipping over X amount. And again, the goal is to increase average order value. Customers are really going to be looking for different discounts based on their particular needs. So you don't get to go all in on any of them. Uh, I would be cautious about those daily deals. I know Santa loves daily deals, 12 days of Christmas, but you don't want to make customers wait 10 days before they find the offer that really they want. So if you're going to do a couple days of deals, what I would recommend is either letting people know what products will be coming up only for a couple days or having a blanket deal like 30% off and then having a uh, kicker deal. So an extra 10% off of sweaters or category specific items. So those are the discounts I'd play with, but certainly try to use varying discounts throughout the entire season to keep engagement high. Thank you, Mark. Next question comes from Kara in New York City. Kara asks, do you have any tips for businesses that don't offer Black Friday, Cyber Monday discounts? Absolutely. Omni Santa has your back. So what I would do is focus on the value ads. Focus on the things that make you not discount worthy. So what I would do here is utilize social proof as much as possible. Showcase top rated products, customer favorites, testimonials. All these things build consumer confidence in not only the brand, but the products. And then think about the other things that you can offer. Do you offer free shipping? Do you offer expedited shipping? Do you offer gold glove service? So maybe gift wrapping or beautiful packaging. These are the things that you want to sell to people to make them feel confident and to understand that, yeah, discounts maybe aren't the best for us. And that's okay because you are getting quality here. And that's really the goal. So utilize that social proof, whatever it might be, promote those value ads and differentiators. And again, Term policies, shipping, all those things come in handy. And if you absolutely need to discount, but you struggle with how to do that, think about maybe gift cards to use as purchases for the following year, or maybe just small free accessory gifts that they can get along with their purchase. So you have kind of the world at your fingertips, try to do your best with it. Our next question comes from Kevin in New York, another New Yorker here. Omni Santa, I gotta get around this world and I'm focused on New York right now. Do we need to change anything with our automations just for the holiday shopping season? Well, I would say yes. So the things, you don't need to reinvent the wheel, but the things I would certainly 
focus on here are shortening your time windows for any automation. So think about cart abandonment or browse abandonment messages. Sometimes these have up to 18, 24, 36 hour delays in there, but consumers around Black Friday, Cyber Monday, they are shopping much quicker, making quicker decisions. So I would recommend shortening those windows. Maybe your cart abandonment goes at 30 minutes, two hours, and then again at 12 hours. So condense that a little bit more. And if you wanna spread it out, then add a fourth or fifth message that has those delays built in. Same with product or browse abandonment messages. You might want to trigger those at one or two hours after they leave your site. Get them re-engaged with you. Welcome messages, certainly shorten those. Maybe one message every single day, uh, which I would recommend anyways. But you want to adjust some of those things. The other thing I would recommend as the all-knowing Omni Santa is your discounts. You're likely doing much deeper discounts through the holiday season. Send your typical card abandonment, welcome product, whatever other automated message you might have sending offer in there. So a lot of times you might see 10 to 15% off a welcome message. Well, when you're offering 30, 40% off during the holiday season, that 10% is kind of moot and it doesn't really do the purpose or incite, uh, entice people to shop. So here's what I'd recommend. If you can stack the discounts and that protects your margins, that's fine. So you have the 10% laid on top of the 30%. Now that's might be a little too extreme here. So what? think about things you could do. Maybe offer a tier discount that might help protect your margins even when you change your sales. So the more they spend, the more they save, but you're kind of protected there a little bit. You can also offer free gifts, expedited shipping, or offer bundles within those messages as well with those discounts. So there's a couple of different ways you can kind of do that for the holiday season, but think about those discounts to make them somewhat match in your messaging that will align with your seasonal discounts as well. Hope I've been able to answer all your questions and guide you along a perfect and profitable Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and holiday shopping period. If you have any additional questions for Omni Santa, track me down, let us know, and we'll get those answered for you. Until next time, happy marketing, everyone.